And good afternoon and welcome to day two of the 2022 Cyberts Michigan Open here on day two at the Kellogg Arena, Battle Creek. Our second match is between the road runner, Savannah Easton, Beep Beep, and Tonya Weiser. Thanks to our sponsors and partners for making this event happen, of course, Cyberts, Predator Qs, Q Sports International, WP, BA and US Pro Billiard Series partners, Kamui, Alpha Coin Jam Up Apparel and Madaya Light. The game is 10 ball, two races to four. I'm Mark White. It's a cool shot. And calling the shots with me in the booth is a bit of a surprise, really. It should have been Dawn Hopkins. which He doesn't look anything like Dawn Hopkins, <laughs> but he is the tournament director. And his name is Jerry Stuckhart. Good afternoon, Jerry. Oh, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, this was a surprise. Uh, yeah, Dawn is uh, finishing up a match. She's Hill Hill in a second uh, set on an outer table. So, yeah, I'm glad to be here. This is exciting. So, yeah, I mean, I must admit, I don't know that much about Tonya. I mean, it says on her profile that I've asked her about her uh, previous achievements and she said, I'm working on it, yeah. which I thought was a really, really nice answer. She's, she's super, super nice. I actually just met her um, on, at the player meeting and um, she's got a, an old old school style, I think, when uh, she shoots. And I will say that I watched in her first match, she shoots balls pretty hard most of the time. And uh, she struggled a little bit when she tried to roll some balls. So we'll see what uh, see what she comes with here under the lights. Yeah, it's a, a totally different prospect. Some players warm to playing under the lights. Other players not so comfortable. Yeah. And I know in our last match, um, Ada Leo, I think she played in that first match, and uh, she said that that was her first time. So it's a different it's a different feeling the first time under here and watching you know everyone watching you you think 10,000 people are watching you yeah and you know it, it, it's a good thing because we're trying to highlight the women's game and, and you know we want to give the women as much airtime and coverage as possible we want those fans out there to get to know the players yeah and at the end of the day there's always a first time for everything and once that first time is out of the way then you can start to relax a hundred percent get comfortable in your game um well the road runner here is is, is she, she has been playing now, um, I think, on the stream in pretty much every tournament. It seems like every week she's on she's yeah. on some sort of live stream. So she's probably super comfortable out there, and she thrives on this And on there this you go. And as, as soon as you can start thriving on that, that's when you really start to, yep. to make progress in the game. Right, so calling the bank shot here on the three, Tonya. She might, she might try to stick it. Mm. Nope, she's here. So you, I, I think if you hit that with some draw... You can actually stick it there behind the five, and the three would come out. You're trying to roll it um, gives you the outcome she had there, where it's going to come up and bump the five out of the way. Yeah, we know Savannah is a very, very attacking player. Just 12 years old. Of course, you've got no fear at that age, have nope. you? <laughs> Not at all. So she'll be shooting at this. You can guarantee it. Yeah, she was going to roll forward and try to get the four in the bottom right. No. Oh. Did she get away with it? Oh, there might be a little bit of a gap through there. I can't quite see. Tonya's going to have a hard look at it. I think she can, actually. I think she can just get through to the edge of this. I wonder if, if she can hit it pretty full. She can return the safe with that giant wall of uh, six balls there in the middle. Yeah, it's a huge wall, isn't it? <laughs> I think she's just said safety out loud. Oh, okay. Double kiss, the dreaded double kiss. So, first real chance then for Savannah. Will she leave? See, I don't like leaving the four into the side here because no. you've got no route to the five then. So, she's going to have to play the four into the same pocket, really. It does go in the upper corner if you want to get squirrely with it. She might. So, if you run in the side here, you're going to hit the seven full and you're going to be stuck. Uh, she might play safe. Yeah, I like the safety here. Just kick it before the side pocket and... Have it go down by the five, and but she's a, she's, she's aggressive. She's shooting. She's aggressive. No, oh, she's nice. not. Hit it. Yeah. Okay. I was I was worried if it didn't hit that five, it had enough pace on it, and four might have came all the way back down. We, so can, we can see her kicking ability here. Yeah, Tonya Weiser. I like that name. Right. 
she has signed up for uh, some other events before and then couldn't make it for some logistical reasons. So uh, this is her first uh, pro billiard series event. We're glad to have her here. Plays with a predator. All right, do you see any decent hit? Do you see any trouble in this rack trying to get on that seven ball at some point? Yeah, that's possible banana skin, shall we say, but uh oh. All right, gotta shake off the shake off those first game jitters. Don't they say the first and the last game are the hardest two to win? Yeah, they certainly are. And the uh, the women's game is really coming back with a vengeance, and I want to talk to you after this rack of course. about upcoming events and your vision for the future. Oh, dear, she just let up on that a little bit, jumped up off the shot, maybe a little bit anxious as well. Uh, yeah, her, uh, her pace walking around the table is different. Um, you'll see when Savannah settles in, her body language will change, and they call her the roadrunner because once she starts feeling it, she, she's a different player, and you can, you can no noticeably tell. But there's jitters because... Even Tanya there, I mean, he had a ton of chance to pull the cue ball all the way to the middle of the table to make an easier six, but opted for that short little tap in. I mean, I was talking, I was commentating last night with Alison Fisher on the Kelly Fisher, Margaret Fefalova match. Yep. And Alison was saying, you know, even after all of her year's experiences, you never know how you're going to feel until you walk into the arena. It's not the truth. It's got to be interesting. Um, obviously, Allison and Kelly are, are good friends for many, many years and competitors to commentate against with one of your friends in a huge match. Um, that, that was a great match last last night. So, yeah, it was fabulous. Now, look, here's a here's something strange. She hasn't got her jump cue out of the case. Now, that's a little bit of inexperience yep. there. She needs to learn. Get your cues ready. We are on a shot clock here, of course. Yeah. 30 second shot clock. She took her extension just to get it out. Um, so Savannah had a, had a pretty tough draw. She drew Jasmine Ocean in the first round. And I watched the first set. I was on an outer table. She got to the table, I would say, seven times. And six times was with her jump cue. Wow. Jasmine kept locking her up. And, uh, well, and got fortunate a couple times on misses, then totally locked her up. Well, the fact that she had, she kept playing safe on her is testament yeah. to her respect for Savannah, right? 100%. It was great to see them two chat for probably a half hour after the match as well. And uh, Jasmine gave her a ton of accolades for everything that she's done for the game so far. So it's really exciting to have um, more juniors on the tour. Um, and it's not just Savannah. We have... Um, Haley uh, Marion is a 15 year old is in this field as well. Yeah, I watched her yesterday actually. And she, she's fantastic. And we're going to have some others that came. Um, Sophia Mast, uh, which a lot of people are familiar with. She played in our Vegas event. Um, she's been invited to a couple more of our upcoming events as well. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a handful of junior players that are, that are up and coming. Yeah, Anna, Anna Rigley. Yeah. Anna Rigley from uh, Austria springs to mind. Yep, exactly. We have, um, I think, like six or eight juniors that are WPBA members this year. Um, it, it, obviously, it's easier for them to get to some of the tournaments maybe in the summertime when they're not in school. But, um, yeah, they're trying to figure this out. Savannah and her family have made a, a huge dedication to grow her on this sport. So hopefully we'll see more, um, especially in Puerto Rico. Yeah, we're all looking forward to Puerto Rico. Okay, back to this one then. And just going back to that jump shot that Savannah played, you might have noticed that she didn't you have a bridge hand on the table. It was totally in yeah, mid-air. Yeah, the air jump. Yeah, <laughs> the air jump with the air rush. She's trying to patent it. Well, if you've ever seen Mike Massey play, um, he... Oh, this is a lovely oh. kick shot. What a great shot that is. Give her the reward. Oh, no. She can see it. No. Uh, Mike Massey only jump shot only does jump shots with one hand. He just air air errors yeah. one hand every single time, no matter where he's at. Uh, everyone has their own style of what they prefer. Yeah. Are you a fan of the jump cue? I love it. It's great for the game. I, I think. think it's I think it's a fantastic uh, weapon, shall we say, yeah. to have and. 
If you if you want to stop your opponent jumping, then get them tight behind the ball so they can't jump. Simple as that. Yeah, it tightens up that game. Yeah, I know that's it's heavily talked about, right? The the old school players that don't like jump cues, and uh, we were we were having a good conversation with some pros and Ernesto earlier. It's not just jump cues that have changed the game. We've had phenolic tips to come in, and now everyone can break hard, and they've had even harder tips than phenolic tips, and you know that that's changed the game. Um, so I don't know why jump cues sometimes get the get a bad rap. But I, I think you I don't think have to have them wrapped. You can have them unwrapped as well. That's true. That's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a bad unwrap. Like yeah. So this temple then to take the first rack in this match. Our second match of six games on this table today, on day two, and in it goes. Yeah, remembering not to touch the balls until the cue ball stops. Well done, Savannah. So, so right. tell us then, uh, Jerry. Yeah. Before you go, because Dawn Hopkins has just walked in. Did you win? I did. She won. Good. Right. So Dawn Hopkins is through. She's going to be sitting in that seat. But before you go, just stay yeah. for one more rack with us, if you, if you don't mind. One more rack. Sounds great. Uh, because I want to hear what's coming up in the WPBA. Yeah. I know our events, but there's lots of other stuff going on. So give, just give us yeah. a little bit of insight into what's going no, on. No, I mean, this is a super exciting year for the WPBA and, and billiards in general. Um, we had 10 events for this year, I mean, after the COVID years, um, but we've only had maybe five or six events in previous years. So having 10 events, we've actually just added an 11th event. We added a straight pool event, which is a little outside of our character, but um, next month we have the Helena Tornfeld uh, Memorial Tournament. Uh, it's an 80 player field, it's held at uh, Janet Atwell's pool room in um, Tennessee. And uh, that filled up immediately because a lot of people wanted to show support for her. Um, so that event, uh, after that, we have a straight pool event and then we'll do another pro billiard series in, um, Puerto, Rico. in Puerto Rico which we're really excited about because that field is filling up fast because everyone wants to go to that beautiful, <laughs> beautiful island. Yep. Um, and then we finish out this 2022 season with our Dr. Pool promotion tournament, which is in um, central Wisconsin. It's uh, like the end of the year uh, tournament. And uh, th they usually don't invite new players. It's, it's players that have been on the tour and they can come in. Um, but there's no, there's no rest then because we now have added the new Pro Billiard Series Atlantic City event in January. Uh, that's going to be huge. Uh, I just was talking to Krim a second ago. It's a ladies only event, so we're not going to have the men alongside, um, which gives us the ability to possibly grow it right from the scratch. So um, we're excited about that. We're, we're hoping to be able to have a 96 player field, potentially, oh, eight, potentially 80 players. We're going to kind of play it out, but Atlantic City is, is all but ready for this. Um, East Coast like that, it'll, it'll attract a lot of players from overseas because it's easy to get to, right? So it's, it's not too far from New York. So, yeah, we're excited about that. And then it goes right into February, which is uh, the BCA CSI World Championships. And from there, oh, she just put herself in jail. I wondered when you was going to stop talking, actually, because there, <laughs> there is a game going on here. Oh, yeah. you, know? well, you realize there is a game so going on, too. I was like, she's not going to get herself stuck here, is she? Um, yeah, so the, uh, the World Championships in the BCA, um, that, that event is what kicked us off this year. Uh, it's been super exciting. So uh, there's a lot going on for pool. So uh, if, if you don't have the passion for it yet, you need to watch these, this young player, Savannah Easton, play and, uh, and, and check out all these amazing events we have because it's, it's going to be a fun uh, roller coaster here for all of us. So yeah. Well said and nice to know that the women's game is growing so much. So she's going to kick this two rails. She's just called the side pocket. She could clip this in the side, you know. We've already seen... She fouled. Ah, oh, that's very nice. And she fouled, yeah. That's typical of not just the women's game, but the, the game of pool in general. It's, it's played by, you know, sports people. 100%. I've seen it a bunch this week of people calling fouls on themselves. Or I was even watching it. I didn't even see it happen, and they had to explain it to their opponent. Like, no, I touched that. Here eight. we go. Look, just watch this. And especially with the carbon fibre, you can actually hear it, yep. can't you? You can really hear it. So, well done for owning up to that foul. I Chance for it. Oh, I Savannah. don't see any issues here. Yeah, just 
She'll probably go forward and back to the center of the table, give her a little angle on the six. We are playing all ball fouls. And, and all ball fouls is an extra element in the women's game that we talk about a lot. You used to see a lot of people with longer hair will wear uh, ponytails so that they don't drape on the table. Because you can drape over a ball that's under you that you normally wouldn't touch with your clothing, but your hair touches it, it's a foul. So Have you ever done a hair foul? Yeah, I had <laughs> hair at one point, Mark. <laughs> it was a long time ago, I have to look at photos, but. Oh, she, so she hit that really well, but she's got quite an angle here, so she might go down under the eight and spin around. Yeah, even if she doesn't quite get it that far, she could maybe just carry him into the, the 10 ball, hit it from the backside or something. Let's have a look how she plays it. I think we draw. Right? Wow, that's worked out pretty well, hasn't it? That was scary. If she didn't hit the eight, she was going to hit the back of that pocket. So. She was never worried. Nope. But you'll see her pace pick up. Remember from first game? She, yes. So now watch when she chalks, even when she moves. Shoots the ball. She's staying down though, good. The speed control is a little bit, a little bit different on this table. <clears throat> I feel like it's a little bit quicker than some of the outside tables, maybe with um, these amazing predator lights above it. Um, it. Catches everyone out the speed of the table. Takes a little bit. Yeah, just that slight difference. And of course, in these short races to four, you haven't got that long. No. To adjust. Not at all. A uh, short race of four, I've heard a couple yeah, players talking that every mat, every yeah, game feels like it's almost hill, hill, right off the bat. In it goes then, 2-0. She's halfway to the first set. Thanks ever so much for popping hey, in, Joe. I appreciate we'll, it we'll so much. We'll have to get you in again at some time. Thank no you very problem. much. We're going to get, well, someone much prettier, I must no, say. I'm I, sorry. I totally agree. She has sparkly shoes, too, so <laughs> that should be great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. And we are back, and I'm delighted to say, Jerry yeah, Stuckart. Yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing yeah, against you, Jerry, but <laughs> I've been joined by Dawn Hopkins. Good afternoon, Dawn. How are you today, Mark? Great. Thank now, you for having me. You're welcome at any time. You know that. So Savannah Easton, I'm sure you know both of these ladies. Savannah took the first two racks. A little bit cagey, a little bit of safety here and there. That's uh, okay. If you don't feel the shot, you got to play the safe. Absolutely. So have a look around this table. Potential problems? Well, she's just got a lot of clutter there. So this is where you need that straight pool game, you know, to the touch to be able to come over four inches, come over three inches, you know. So this first one is a key because she's got to go back and forth and get on that three ball. Yeah, that was a, a tester right there. Made her miss it. Just trying to put that li something little extra into it. And it was a nice moment in that last rack where Tonya was at the table, had a chance, and she accidentally touched the ball. No one saw it, she, but she called it upon herself. Oh, that's that's what you should do, but you know, not always that happens. But that is the polite thing, the good thing to do, good sportsmanship. So she's played this well. She's come up, just clipped the nine, but she's okay. Let's see that five. So Tonya is going to have to come out two rails and then play the five, I think, in the same pocket. Okay, she's opted to go in and break them up and hope for the best. And it's worked out pretty well by the looks of it. Slides past the 10 ball, this five ball. Yeah, this is a real, it looks like a fairly easy shot, but the problem with it is the cue ball is going to go off to the right and following forward is, is a hard shot. So let's see what she does here. 
Yeah, see, it was it was just too hard to go across the table, so she had to play the shot in the side, which was well done. Yeah, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nice little crowd here. Well, we've got two ends of the two ends of the spectrum here, and we've got the the young pretender just starting out, <laughs> and we've got and we've got the the more experienced the wiser, lady, the, the wiser. Wi yes, exactly, <laughs> the wiser one. Well, we don't know that for sure, though. You know, Savannah, even though she's young, she's very seasoned. You know, she just got back with a uh, third place finish in the California State Championships. Yeah, amazing. For that, the women, right? and uh, she's going to the Junior Championships in Puerto Rico in November. So she's got. Uh, She's got a lot going on. She's not, she plays a lot of pool. Yeah, attempt there at a very difficult shot, digging down on the cue ball, trying to hold for the eight ball. Made her miss the seven, so a chance for Savannah to get on the heel here in the first set. Okay, there's not really, well, so there's a couple of choices here you can draw back but cheating the pocket you got to be careful of not hitting that right hand lip because that's that's bobbling balls here yeah and you see now there's a lesson there because when you're trying to play a lot of top and you hit it hard like that as the cue ball reaches the row it then becomes backspin yes. and slows the cue ball down doesn't it that's right so you, you're better off aiming slightly lower and a smoother stroke you're right you're right, just punch it over. But all she needs to do is just stay down on this and just pocket the ball. The natural angle is gonna let the cue ball go up and down the table. Okay, well, she played it at the pro side of the pocket, as we say. Yeah. I, I always crack up about that because nobody really wants to miss the ball, so you're not trying to miss on the right side. Surely the pro <laughs> side is in the pocket. That's right. <laughs> So will Tonya have a go at this? I'd play a safety here, I think. I don't know. I think she's trying to go for this, cut it in. Yeah, I think I would have, because the, the 10 is right there, I think I would have just bumped the nine to the rail. And that? look at this, this is nice. Just has to avoid the, the side pocket here. Low left on the cue ball. Are, is that where you're going here? Uh, I would, but I don't think I'd use low. I think I would just use center because uh, this, these rails are catching the English and spinning them pretty hef hefty. So I don't think she needs to hit low to do that. She agrees. Well, she's doing it a little different. Played it lovely, played it across two rails, but mm. they're judging the speed then, of course. If you don't get the speed right, you're always running away from the 10. But this can still cut in. Oh yeah, you've got to watch that side pocket because the tangent line is going pretty close to that side pocket. Yeah, as long as she doesn't hit it thick, she'll be okay. If she can pot it into the, the th on the thin side, take the scratch out. And there she's hit it thick. Oh, nearly scratched in the corner. Well, she's got away with it, sort of there. This is a thin one. This is, well, not quite, but almost like the spot shot. When I get these shots, I think, okay, I've been practicing the spot shot for the tiebreaker, you know, and it's, it's a little more of a cut because you wouldn't put the cue ball there, but it's close. Imagine this is to, to win the shootout then. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen here. Oh, she got a little lucky, she's left uh, Savannah with a bank. Yeah, she's called it. Isn't she cute as a button? She's just amazing, isn't she? And in, she's got in, the in spirit. Every way. Yeah, the spirit of uh, an angel and just a to very, very nice girl. Well, that's gone in the wrong pocket. It will be respotted. Now, this is interesting because. If Tonya doesn't want this shot, she can give it back. Yeah, given what she had the almost the exact same shot in the last the last time. So yeah. it's all about your confidence level at this point. 
Yeah. I can't give this back. I couldn't give this back. You, you have to shoot it, because yeah. at least you got a chance to win the game. Well, you were talking about the spot shot. This is dead on the spot, but that's not how we play the spot shot, because we play the spot shot where it's racked in the actual rack, don't we? Just slightly behind, I think it's three inches behind the, behind the actual head spot. Yes. Anyway, immaterial because she's left it over this corner pocket. So this to go on the hill. And in it goes. So 3-0 now. Things looking very good for Savannah. And we're going to stay with it. So I've been doing this little thing, Dawn. Now, you've, this must be as close to one word answers as possible, OK? I'm just going to run through a few quick questions for you, OK? OK. How much, how much of the game of pool is in the head? All. Is pool a sport or is it just a game? Sport. Triangle or rack template? Rack template. Uh, OK. Nine ball or ten ball game? Ten ball. Best ever American, Earl, SVB, or somebody else, maybe a lady. Oh, you got We're me against there. the shot clock Alan here. Alan Hopkins. Dawn Hopkins, did you say? I said Alan Hopkins. Alan Hopkins, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll continue that a little bit later <laughs> because we ran out of time. I forgot to tell you we were on a stop clock there. Oh, oh, <laughs> that would have helped. Yeah, it would have helped. Did, I, it? did it go beep, beep, beep? My bad. I didn't hear you go beep, beep, beep. No, I was about to. But she's going <laughs> But then beep, she beep, went beep, beep, beep. beep exactly. <laughs> Everybody knows about that already, right? Yeah. Her little logo. Yeah, the, the road runner. The road runner. And her mum. Beep, beep. Oh, she only I, has two beeps. I just done a little, uh, a pre-match sort of video for Facebook. And we done a little thing with Savannah's mum, Tiffany, who's in the audience. And she's wearing... A beep beep Savannah Road Runner hoodie. Oh, that's and cool. it's got Mama Road Runner on the back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How clever. Her parents are so supportive of her. I, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, Larry and Tiffany Easton. We'll get a picture of them soon, I'm sure we will. Sat right front row as they always are for Savannah's games. What I love about her game, even at such a young age, is her approach to the table is really good. She doesn't, not always, I've seen her rush sometimes, but most of the time she gets around the table, knows what she needs to do, and then stands all the, if you notice, excuse me, if you notice it's the same on every shot. She stands and looks at the shot. You're sounding a bit croaky today, are you okay? Yes, now I am. I Good. have a little frog in Clear me. that frog. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's not even morning. Is it? Is it morning? No, it's not. It's afternoon okay. already. All right. Well, that was a great safety. She left a 10 ball in between the two. But there's a ball on the rail that may make it that seven comes into play here for the one rail kick. So if she does come behind the seven and kick, she's going to have to hit this hard to shorten the angle, I think. Good hit. That was a good hit. Almost Very made it. Hit. Oh, is she going to leave it? Yes. I don't think that Savannah can make that in the side. That was a really nice hit. She get hit it with speed, almost made it. And then she just rested it on the side. So Savannah does not have that pocket, I don't think. We'll find out. Yeah, she's just playing a safety. Another smart move. Yeah, she's well above her years, isn't she, in her experience already. And that comes from playing lots and lots of tournaments. It's the secret, isn't it? Keep that competitiveness in you and get used to playing under that pressure of yes. tournament yes the seasoning you need that seasoning even if you've been playing for 40 years if you don't get out and play in tournaments for a while it's going to take a little time to get back into that mode 
comes the extension. Now, this is a hard kick when you're so close to the, the row you're kicking off. Hard to judge the angle. Looks pretty good to me, though. I guess she doesn't like oh. jumping. See, that to me would have been a great jump shot, but maybe she's not comfortable with jumping yet. Yeah, I don't... I think she has a... Does she have a jump? She no. does. She it's, does, yeah. It's, it's a long one, though, so that shot there, there's longer jump shots, and then there's shorter ones. The shorter ones get you up and down quicker, so if you're closer to the object ball, uh, the longer ones are more for accuracy, so if it's further away from the object ball, those are good, and I think she's got the longer ones, so maybe that's why she didn't take it. So no trouble here. It's just a matter of getting in position, staying. She's got to get on the right side of the five. Oh, that was a beautiful stroke. Really yeah. nice stroke, that. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely perfectly played. Yep. She's got that perfect angle to get down. Again, she see she's standing. She's got that great approach, you know, where you're doing everything right. Walking around the table, looking at it from the correct angle. Not just standing where she is now and looking at it, but actually coming over. Yeah, made sure she's left herself a decent angle, which came from coming round and having a look, see exactly where you want to go, visualize the shot. Yes. She seems to have the table speed pretty good. This is perfect once again, look, draw. Yep, a great angle. If she had gotten on the other side, there would have been a lot more work to do, but now it's just an easy draw. She could use the rail or try to draw straight down. If you draw straight down, you might get close to the rail on the next shot. I kind of like using the rail here. Yeah. Spin it up with just a little bit of right hand. Perfect angle now on this eight ball. And things looking good to take the first set for the youngster. This is a, a one loss side match, of course. As you said earlier. Jasmine Ocean sent her there to the one lost side yesterday. Well, there's no, uh, you know, no shame in that one. Jasmine is a amazing player. And so is Savannah, but um, but Jasmine is a really tough opponent. So this temple then to take the first set. So the minimum she can expect out of this match is a shootout, but she'll be going to win the second set as well. So in it goes, and we're going to go out for just a short break, and we'll be back very, very soon, guys. So we are back from the break, Savannah, just having a 
a sip of water. Now, because Savannah broke in the first set, although even though it's winner breaks, they do share the break at the beginning of the sets. So it's Tonya Weiser to break off. So how's that break looking? Uh, can Savannah, I think Savannah has a window in between the nine and the three. I believe she does. Yep. And it's the position that's going to be hard. The, I like, uh, see the two and the, the seven is blocking the pocket up top. I don't like where the five is. That's going to come into play at some point. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Tried to thin one. Yeah, but I mean, she's not giving away a whole lot right now because the table's not real open. So that was definitely, oh, she just missed it. <laughs> she kind of surprised herself. She's a cheeky little one, isn't she? Another legend of the game, Lonnie Fox Raymond. 4-0, she won the first set, and she's 3-3 in the second set against Leanne Leaney from the States. Uh, sorry, so from Canada, I mean. From Montreal, I believe. Montreal, it's yeah. a nice town. So here, I think Tonya is going to try the combination again. Not so easy. The two should stay somewhere around the pocket if she hits it at the right speed. But yeah, I don't like how hard she hit it, though. If she had hit it soft. Sorry to interrupt you. Carry on. That's OK. So she did make the seven. And she's got a cut on the two. Tonya seems to be uh, hitting the ball too thick, so not cutting the ball enough, not hitting it thin enough on a lot of her shots. So nice long straight two here. This is one where you can really get the cue through it nicely. Stroke it in. Well, a little bit heavy. Yeah, I think she was worried about the ball that she was near. Nobody likes to give up ball in hand. See that four there? You just dip your stick a little bit, and you're touching that giving ball in hand to your opponent. Yeah, and of course, the other problem with playing over a ball, any little piece of English that you get on the cue ball that you don't allow for, of course, it's going to throw the cue ball off line as well. Yes, and with this... With the raised butt. Yep, and these tables especially because it's picking up the English very easily. I've had to back off of the English completely and try and play more center ball or near center ball, and I'm like a total English player. Well, I just had the same conversation in the last during the last match. Tim De Reuter, who loves spinning the ball and... You know, plays every single shot with spin, and on coming from a snooker background, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. It makes the game so much more difficult, in my opinion. Well, when you, th I think when you're on cloth that is um, grabs more, it's thicker. It helps you to not have to power the ball as much around the table. You see, I have a counter argument to that. Okay. Leave yourself a decent angle on the ball, which will then enable you to... You, you find it with the Filipinos, you know. They, they tend to just let the cue ball run around naturally where they want it to go, rather than trying to make it go against the, the general direction of where it wants to go. Yeah, but they use a, a lot of they, spin. Yes, they... They do, they do sometimes as well, yeah, but they're very, they are experts at playing, you know, when they're playing these run-through shots, they love, they love the ball just taking the natural angle. And my, oh, yeah, and my, argument, sure. my argument is, if you can leave yourself an angle every single time on a ball, mm -hmm. then you don't need to play so much spin because you can use the natural angle of the cue ball to run around the table. That, that's it's just true. my opinion. No, that's, that is true, and there are some players that play like that. I don't know why. It just feels more natural. 
but now you get out here and you have to rethink that, you know? And maybe maybe this it's equipment difficult. is going to bring us all back to more center ball. People have to adjust. They have to stop with the long strokes and the power shots and, you know. Yeah, because you don't need it on, on this cloth, you know. It Especially with the equipment now, the cues that we use, the different cues that were available, so yeah. much more power. That's right. The game's changing, and I think players have to change along with it, you know? Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, it's, it's a challenge, really. I think we get complacent if, uh, if everything stays the same. Yeah. That's a nice oh, shot right there. a beautiful there. shot. Very so. nice. Did the cue ball stop in? Yes, okay. I find that sometimes the cue ball, it's, it's like, when are you going to stop? <laughs> oh, this is a nice shot, Dawn. Oh, it hasn't dropped. Now, can she get through to this? Can she go rail first? Or is she gonna get the jump stick out, do you think? Let's see. Just tipped. I'm surprised that didn't go in, you know. I think she might have to use the jump stick on this one. Yeah, I mean, it is out from the pocket, but... Yeah, she's Extension. <laughs> she's a funny little thing. She makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, nice there you go. Shot. Running out of time, just, just walk up to the table and jump it over. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. One stroke. Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. I guess she didn't have a timeout left, right? No, she had no extension, no. She asked for one, and the referee, Dwayne Payne, said you don't have one. She didn't need one. Take, see her take a breath. I like that. She's taking a breath. She's focusing. Well, well advanced in her years, isn't she? Oh, he's on the prize, nice. and in it goes. So, took the first set. She's just taken the first rack. In the second set, she's going around the room very quickly and have a look at some scores. Marcus Wrongski is doing everything right, Ski. He's 3 2 up against Dominic. Burko. Adam Dozier won the first set 4 3 against James Cabal. Robert Frost was on the stream table yesterday. He's won the first set 4 1. Johnny Cisneros taking the first set 4 0 against John Francisco. Do you know John Francisco from New York? I great, do not. Great guy. He's just invited me to, to stay at his house. And an Italian meal and some free pool. Doesn't get better than that, does Whoa, it? Whoa, no it's wonder you think he's a great guy. <laughs> free food and board? I've got to say that, haven't I? <laughs> Is I, that all you need? <laughs> it's, I'm a very simple person, Dawn. Okay. Third, uh, second rack, so breaking off. Well, a little bit of shorter pace there. Is the eight going to make it? Is the eight going to? No. No. Well, there's a shot here in the side pocket. So look at this. Ooh. It was pretty powerful. She had some balls move in there, some opportunities. And now look at that. Is there an angle on this one just to nudge the two towards the corner pocket? I think there is, you know. I think it's going to nudge. Well, I can't tell from this angle. You can tell me. I think she's going to nudge it more towards the rail. See. There you go, and back out. There you go, nice into the corner. She had to hit that firm, otherwise it would have been stuck on the rail. See this, that was great. Pushed it out, otherwise she Played it would nice, not. didn't she, Dawn? Yes. See, she, she's not cutting the ball enough. Yeah, she's Almost hit every everything shot. thick. Yep, she just hasn't got the line yet. I, mean, I don't know whether she was trying to spin it as well which, of course, is going to throw it into the, the two-ball thicker. Well, here's a hard situation because I don't believe she can see the rail, so she's going to come on the other side. But you have to watch out that you don't hit the two on the left side of this because you're going to scratch. 
perfect. Yeah, how well did she hit that? Well, Brilliant shot, well yeah. controlled, okay. She's left to look at it, but could have been a lot worse than that. Yeah, but the good thing is she hit it on the correct side. That pocket becomes pretty big. And once again, and I think, did she? She still hit it too fat. Too and fat, it, And yeah. it came into the rail and back out again. So she's really having a hard time with these uh, cut shots. And you see a couple of our sponsors, CSI, Q Sports International, Alpha Coin, of course, and uh, our other partners, Kamui, Jam Up Apparel, and Madaya Light, all helping towards this prize fund, 13,000 to the winner of this particular tournament. Not a bad payday. That's all right, isn't it? I'd like you that. You can afford to take me out for an Italian as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not just John Francisco. I'm not putting you up in the house, though. No, nah, that's okay. <laughs> I'll stay at John's. <laughs> so this two ball, trying to kick it. Oh, oh, just missed it. It was very, very close, wasn't it? Yes. So nice, wide, open table here. Well, I did say it was referee Dwayne Payne. I thought Dwayne was doing the second one, but Dwayne's on the shot clock. And that's a, what a job that is as well. You have to concentrate as hard as the players when you're on that shot clock. Yes. You can't have a moment's rest. No, because it could be very costly for somebody. Ball in hand. Ball in hand. That's unforgivable, Savannah. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can't miss with ball in hand, right? <laughs> well, you're tough. <laughs> I am tough. That's good. But, but you see, you got to be tough. You've got to be tough. There's no point in saying, oh, bad luck, is there, when no. it wasn't bad luck? No, you know? it was not. It was, a, it was just a mistake. I love her gummy bear earrings. You see is that? that what they were? Yes. Is it? Oh, we're going to have to get a close earrings. up on them. That's what they looked like. It was purple and pink, I think. As long as you don't get them mixed up and, and, eat, the, the, and eat your <laughs> earrings rather than your gummy bears. <laughs> well, thick. once again thick, just but she just barely. made it, yeah. But, you know, I like this woman's attitude around the table. I think she's, she's good. She's, yeah. like, positive and oh, yeah. not letting anything get to her, not getting disappointed or upset. No, she's just steady. Steady, steady as you go. There she goes with her extension. And an extension. Her extension for an extension. I see what you've done there. I <laughs> like it when you come in the booth. We always have a fun. We always have some fun, don't we? Yes, we do. And I get to look at your sparkly shoes as well. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture of those and put them on my Facebook page because everyone's thinking, what is he on about, sparkly <laughs> I shoes? <know. laughs> I need to provide proof. I have to say, they're sparkly, but they are comfortable. So it's not just about show. It is also about having good shoes on my feet to play pool with. And if it's a little sparkly at the same time, that's good. Well, you bring a bit of sparkle to my life, let's say that. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, dear. Ooh, <laughs> just hit the tip. Still at the table. Yeah, it's still focused. Now the angle here is just just focus on making the ball because the natural angle is going to come around for that seven. See, I like getting that cue. I like getting the cue on uh -oh. the rail there. Uh oh. <laughs> Where's the cue ball? Ooh. She's okay. She hit that a little hard. She must play this in the corner now. This is a tough shot. Lucky for her that there is nothing she has to do with the cue ball. Is just roll it up because the eight is right there for the next shot. Beautiful shot. Oh, what shot. a great stroke that was. Yes, that was a hard shot, i got to tell you. Beautiful, beautiful shot here. See, she didn't have a lot of backstroke. I've noticed that some of the players that are not used to the tables yet have this very long stroke hitting it hard like they do at home, they're not doing as well. She's got this short, compact stroke 
which seems to help a little bit. Yeah, but I'm, I've got to just say also, as you saw there, when you've got such a short stroke, when you, you've got that short a stroke, yeah. it it stunts your, your follow through and the back swing's a little bit too quick and then you try and go forward smooth and it's very, very difficult, a little bit jabby, where, you know, slightly longer. I'm not saying a really long back. So it right. depends on the on the on the shot you're well, playing, of course, it. right? Well, that's it. That's it. So on that rail shot is where I like that shot. Yes. Because to have a long backstroke on that, it's a lot harder. So when I have a long shot along the rail, I'll use that shorter stroke. But absolutely, you're right. When you're around the table and everything's open like this a nice long stroke is going to be more fluid and more yeah, followed. Exactly. And, it, yeah. it, and it just, you know, it looks better as well. And if it looks better, it normally is better, right? Yes. Anyway. I agree. Two zero then in total control here at the moment, Savannah Reese. And so let's just go back. We got halfway through your, you still got 15. Oh, there's the gummy bears. Look, can we get in a little bit closer or not? <laughs> Show us them gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. So She's cute. a great character, isn't she? <laughs> but so so professional as well. I mean, she looks great, doesn't she, with her bad with her sponsors patches. She is such a good representative of any sponsor that she has. You know, she's just that perfect perfect person to be sponsored. Because yeah. she's kind. She's generous with her time with people. She's patient. She, un, you know, forget about the great player part. Make the one in the side. Nice break. Very good break. Has she got a shot on the two ball? She has. Yes. Look at that in the side. Now here, this is perfect. Let's see where that one went. Right here in the side. So she hit it a perfect speed. That's why I like breaking from the side, is because it does push that one over towards the pocket. I know in 10 ball, a lot of the guys like to break from the middle. No, they're all going the side in this Are tournament. Are they now? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's going from the side, but simply because you're getting more balls moving. Yes. You've got a chance of making the one. If you make another ball, then you, you generally got a shot on the one as well. So that is the break that most are using. Certainly the most productive break, shall we say. Right. Yeah, I think so. so let's see where oh, she's, she's going over hit here. This. She's overhit this. She needs a bit of luck here. Uh -oh. Well, hmm. she's got the slightest of edges on this. She can't make it, I don't think. Or maybe she I can. I don't know. Maybe those young eyes will prove us wrong here. Nope. So oh, she's a just a bit pacey again as well. Just a little bit quick on the stroke. Now, do Look you go this. for the 10 oh, ball? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Early 10s do count, guys. We are playing Pro Billiard Series rules. Three foul roll, early 10s, winner breaks. Plus, if she does this right, uh, I don't know, maybe not. I was thinking... It, if she hit it at the right speed, not real hard, and brought the cue ball back down the other end of the table, the four might stay right by the eight. Yeah, I think this is a shot you've just got to go for. Ooh. Now, she made the five there, but it won't count. And what it does do is gives Savannah Easton now the choice of whether she wants to take this shot on or whether she wants to put Dawn... Oh, sorry, Dawn, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> well... Thank you for always <laughs> thinking of me, Mark. <laughs> yeah, there you see. She's put her back in. She doesn't like this situation. She can't really see a way of making it any more difficult than it is. I think all you can do here is, is shoot a little, like almost towards the six ball, jack it up and bring the cue ball down behind the seven, let the four pop straight out. Oh, she's playing this, the 10 down in the corner. Well, if she makes this 10 in the corner, Savannah would have been gutted. Yeah, I don't know. That was a flyer. I think I I would have tried a, a little bit of a safety. I know it was hard from there, but... So the right decision from the young lady from Las Vegas. 
So here she's got to pull the cue ball up because if she stops it there, she's going to leave an angle, and that's not what you want to do to play the six to the seven. So she's got to bring the cue ball up just like that. She's just shooting so good. She's in the zone, and this is one of their matches, although, you know, if you want to get it over as quick as possible, you'd love to just keep playing because you feel so good. You know when you're in that mood where everything feels so easy, you can't feel the cue ball, you're, you're drawing back, you're spinning it around the table with ease. Just beautiful feeling, isn't it? It is, it is. There's nothing like being in the zone. No. Oh, when it I feels like the it. pockets are huge. I do miss it sometimes. Why don't you play? Oh. Even just for fun, you know, I like to just, I just like to practice by myself even because the, it's that, like you said, it's the click of the balls. There's like yeah. music in my ears. Absolutely right. Now that I'm a little surprised about. I don't know why she couldn't have just stopped there, just held the cue ball. That could be a, a, a thing, what we were just talking about, where you feel so good, you feel you can do anything. Oh, what a shot. I, oh. I don't think she was trying to come on that side. No, though. she wasn't, but she had a little bit of luck. <laughs> yeah, there you saw what point in the queue where she wanted to go. See, now she's over the nine ball, so this is going to become hard. Decent safety on here as well if she misses it pro side, as they say. Oh, oh beautiful full way to stay it. down. <laughs> and perfect speed. Look at that straight stroke, right straight. You got to think north, that's what I think, is north. If I <laughs> So you don't jab the cue off to the left or right. You just got to make it go straight. Trust your stroke. Do you do any coaching at all, Dawn? I do teach, yes. I teach at home. Well, if ever I take the game up again, I will come to you for lessons, because I like the way you describe things. I've never heard it said like that before. Think north. Yeah. <coughs> I love the light bulb moments, you know, when you teach somebody. Oh, beautiful shot. She stayed down and got the 10 ball in. Brilliant shot. So moving onto the hill and we're going to go for a quick break guys but we'll be back very soon Welcome back to the Kellogg Arena. Savannah Easton is on the hill after winning the first set 4-0. But that doesn't really tell the story, that scoreline, because, you know, Tonya's had her chances as well, hasn't she? 
She has. I think she's just having a little trouble, um, you know, making the shots. <laughs> That's what you got to make the shots. Yeah, just as you said before, she's been hitting everything a little bit thick, a little bit fat, as you say, you poor players. So there's not a shot on the one, and so she's looking at the edges. I always look at the edges of the the one ball to see can I can I thin it, get the cue ball somewhere. Here's yeah, a lovely shot on here actually, between the five and the six, and then between the two and the seven, and hide the cue ball down behind the seven and ten ish. But she's coming the other way. That's that will work as well. Yeah, I think she's just going to try to put it down on back rail yeah yeah it's just see that's what happens when you she totally focused on getting the one ball safe and completely forgot about the cue ball and she scratched that's right you have to know where both are going you know it's one of the few games or sports as we like to call it you know it is a sport it's one of the few sports where you're controlling more than one ball yes you know tennis one golf one right at most games are just one ball right? right right this is two balls and it's 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 a tough game it is a tough game it is it's millimeters and you know and people one thing that i've learned is some people they'll get like you know they'll get the scratch and they'll go oh so i got unlucky in my match i'm like well you shot the shot so whatever happens after that there is no luck really there really isn't. It's all about what you do at the table. Yeah, you are in total control, you know. Now, if your opponent does something and leaves you hidden, that's not in your control, then that, that can be lucky. Yeah. And let's see if Savannah stays in total control here because she does have the opportunity to win the set and win the match right now. Just nicely played, just a little bit careless of leaving the cue ball. I think she might be over the or part over part of the nine and the eight here when she gets down to this. Yeah, very careful with that hand. Yeah. And that's made a miss it. I was just a little bit careless on that four ball position to the five. Yeah, and being over the ball like that, it takes a percentage of your ability away. That's basically, it's not that you can't make the shot, but the percentage is lower to make the shot than if you don't get over a ball. So do you know when you're playing again, Dawn? Uh, I don't, I'm waiting for an opponent. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be probably in the next round after the opponent, maybe two rounds from now. Are you on the winner's side? I'm on the one loss side. I lost my match yesterday. I played poorly. There's no excuse. I just didn't, uh, wasn't feeling it. Today I played a little better, but I'm still struggling, so. John Moore there. Is that John Moore I just saw in the background? He will be up next on this table against Jason Shaw. Oh, great match. Yeah, I mean, that is a huge match and in the booth for that one. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to give you guys a rest from my voice. And uh, it will be Daniel Schneider, the Swiss player. And he'll be in the booth with Tim de Reuter, the jockey. And he'll be in it too. You know why I call him the jockey? No. De Reuter, the Dutch name, it actually translates literally into the jockey. Wow. So there you go. How do you? You're so smart. How I, do you I know just ask. I things? just ask questions. <laughs> oh, what a lovely shot that was on the six. Played a little bit of safety in mind as well, I'm guessing. But look at this for a stroke. Nice. Fabulous shot. Look at that cue ball spin. So this is the tester right here. Just going to play the seven. Hope for the cue ball to come on the other side. Oh, look out. Pretty smart. You know, I think if she made that, she might have scratched. She's probably, luck you know, it's probably a good thing she didn't make that. As close as it came to the 
So the choices here. Do you go for it at, if you, know, you haven't won a game? You just uh, tighten up and play the safety because the three balls there, the nine, the eight, and the ten are there. You and what I like is the fact that she's still giving it 100% there and a great go. bank shot as well. And she's on the eight, I think. She called the bank and smack. Very nice. Seven ball, cross side. In it goes. I wonder why that one eye thing works. <laughs> Close one eye and you see better. <laughs> You ever notice that when people yeah, are I'm looking at something and they're like one eye? So why don't we shoot that way? <laughs> you can't shoot that way, but to look at something, it's kind of funny. Yeah, she's looking to see if she can get through this. I'm not sure she can, you know. She's digging down a little bit. Is she trying to bend it around? Yeah, uh, she couldn't see it. Yeah, I think she was trying to play the cross bank. Did she leave it straight in? She has. She's left it. So a chance then for Savannah Easton. Now I think this is very important that she closes this out now because it, moving forward to your next match, you know, it's something else within your, within your mind that makes you think, I had that chance to close it out and I did. So next time you get that, well, I did it last time, I can do it again, you know. Whereas right. if you don't take that chance, maybe it puts you a little bit on edge for the next time you get the chance. Right. Does yeah. that make sense? Or yeah, am I just sure. talking stupid? <laughs> no, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, this is lovely now. Just a nice little stun shot here. There's nothing hard here. You just stop and stop. It's been a very, very professional performance from Savannah Easton. And she's going to win it. 4-0, four, 4-0. Zero, four, zero. And she does. There comes the handshake. Well played, Tonya, as well. Thank you so much, Dawn Hopkins, for being in the booth with me. Good luck in your next round. Thank you, Mark, and thank everybody at home for listening. Uh, we'll be back 2 p.m. Don't forget, Jason Shaw against John Mora. He can't wait to get in the... There he is, look, can't wait to get in the arena. We'll be back 2 p.m. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been Mark White. Goodbye.